what point should you begin an LLC? I'm sure once some sort of monthly quota is hit with B sales, then it's maybe smart to get one. Just not, just not sure when that would be. So in my opinion, um, this is a great question. And, you know, we kind of talk a lot about this, you know, as it pertains, um, you know, the copyrights, because everyone's like, man, what, like, when should I copyright my beat? I feel like, you know, right. You know exactly when it's time to get that LLC or that corporation. But in my opinion, it's never too early to get one. Most times it's too late. Right. Because you go in and you look and you say, OK, how much is it going to cost? Now you have to you have to do the cost. OK, look at how much it's going to cost. Go in and just check and say, all right, for this state. You know, for example, for Florida, like I'm in Florida, right? Typically, an LLC, I want to say, is a, um, it should be like $50, $50 to $100. And then every month, you pay $138, right? But if I'm doing over $1,000 of business and I'm dealing with a bunch of clients and I'm dealing with a bunch of people going back and forth, then it's smart for me to have some type of legal protection because if anything goes wrong, not only am I protecting myself individually, but I'm also protecting those assets and all the different things that I'm acquiring outside of that business, right? So it's really it's really up, up to you. Um, definitely go in and, and look in your particular state to see if it makes financial sense. Like I looked at something the other day and I, and I was like, man, it costs, I think it's like $800 or something like that in California. California has really, really expensive um, companies and like corporations and business entities but if you're doing, like you just said, a movie studio or if you have a company that's generating thousands and thousands of dollars and you're doing a lot of different transactions with a lot of different people and you're seeing that one of the biggest issues that's in the co in, in the music industry right now is copyright. Right. And we talk about this a lot, but a lot of times people get sued for copyright things they don't even know about. Right. Someone uses a loop. Um, you buy a beat and you rap on that beat and it's just like. The producer, you know, something will happen to the, the beat that the producer got. Or as a producer, you collab with an artist and you find out that the artist, the lyrics that they're put, they put on this wasn't even their lyrics. Or that the artist says a lyric that belongs to, you know, a songwriter from the 1970s. And now you're like, man, how, how, how am I even protected? The way that you're protected here is if you have that LLC, if you have that corporation and that business entity did, you know, it, it contracted with that particular songwriter or it contracted with that producer. Um, if you were ever in any legal trouble, as long as you're using that entity correctly, you could always say, okay, only thing that you can get here is what's in the LLC and everything that I have personally is 